Welcome to the video everyone. Today we're going over how to play as an effective winger in soccer. Ronaldo, Sterling, Bale, Pedro, and so on. These are names of very good wingers in the world of football. So let's break down what makes an effective winger. A winger needs to be able to do a certain number of things to be considered good or effective. They need to be able to beat players one-on-one. -on -one. They need to be able to put in dangerous, good crosses from a wide position. They need to be able to make good runs down the sidelines so that they can be fed through. And they need to be able to cut inside to take shots or cut inside and play one of their players in behind the defensive line. So let's start with the first one, which is beating players one-on-one. -on -one. The best wingers in the world are the players that can consistently beat their man one-on-one -on -one and whip in a dangerous cross or cut inside beating the player one-on-one -on -one and take a dangerous shot on goal. These are the kind of players that fans get on the edge of their seats whenever they get the ball. I would recommend having at least three skill moves that you have mastered so that you always keep defenders on their toes. I will link a video above, a little bar will come across to 10 attacking soccer skills. Pick three of those, master them if you're a winger or even if you're an attacking player um, because having variety is much better than having only one move that you can do. So the next important component of a winger's game is being able to whip in dangerous crosses. Speaking as someone who plays as a striker, it is extremely frustrating when you're playing a striker and your winger can't put in a decent cross. Work on your crossing, work on whipping in a cross with accuracy and pace and you will get a ton more assists for your team. Wingers also need to be constantly kind of bombarding and running down the line to make dangerous runs in behind for either a switch, so what I mean is the ball coming from one end to the other playing you in, or just a regular through ball which will play you in for either a cross or to take a, take a chance on net. And finally the last thing is you want to be able to cut inside um, so that's instead of taking the ball to the byline and getting a cross in that's cutting the ball in and taking a shot on goal or playing one of your attackers through onto goal. Cristiano Ronaldo during his time at Manchester United when he was a winger used to do this all the time to great effect. So if you are a winger, make sure you are working on your shooting because wingers are expected to chip in with a few goals every season. My last piece of advice is to watch professional players that play as a winger. Um, there's no one better to learn off of than the professionals. Watch what they do, watch their mannerisms, watch the moves that they use, especially watch their movement and the runs that they make. All right, everyone, so this is all of the components that makes a complete and dangerous winger. You want to make sure that you're good at every single one of these areas because even if you're missing one, you won't be as effective and dangerous as you possibly could be. So make sure you're practicing these areas if you play as a winger. Okay, so be sure to leave your questions and comments down below. Any questions about this video or just questions in general about soccer you want to put down there, leave them down there below. Also, if you're new to Simply Soccer, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I love getting new subscribers and having them join our team here. We release at least three videos every Every week that are designed to help you improve as a soccer player so make sure you do that down below also remember to hit that like button share on social media and I'll see you on the next video